Aiden. Good morning, sir. Morning, David. Lovely um, to see you again. A couple of years ago when I was interviewing you, you suddenly produced a gin and tonic from under your chair. Um, you're a bit early for that. Had a glass of champagne yet? Not this morning. Oh. Well. I haven't seen him this morning. Oh, I see. Your host. Because last time, you know what we had last time, it was chicken and chips and champagne, <laughs> isn't it? He's improved this time. It's champagne and yes. beef stroganoff this yes. time. He's moving up a little bit. Yeah, you talk about your anonymous host, Mr. Peter Dyer. That's Let's fine. talk about serious people. Uh, <laughs> this final. Mr. Hendry versus young Nigel Bond. Um, Stephen Hendry, everybody's been saying the greatest, possibly the best ever. What's your opinion of Stephen Hendry? Mm, excellent. Mm. He's the best player I've ever seen. I mean, that break that he made, I know it's only a 147 perhaps, but <laughs> it was perfect, really. Slightly the one little bit of running on the, off the 14th black on the white met the pink, but you need a little bit of running. And even so, to, to get the last red, get what he did, uh, clear up and then to put that remaining black, very difficult. But he did the right thing, he stepped back, he moved in on the shot and he played it smoothly. I mean, to win an ordinary game would be difficult from that situation, but to do a 147 for that amount of money, uh, and here at the Crucible, mm. tremendous. Oh, he's the best player I've ever seen. What makes him so good? Temperament, ability, technique? Well, ability temperament, technique is important. Mm. Everything. You don't need force, it's technique you need. And he's got it all. Mm. Uh, but yet he sees, uh, what did he win, 15, 13 or 15, 12 is it? Or what did he win against Jimmy? 16, 12. 16, 12. 16, 12. Yeah. 12. I mean, he's had four centuries, mm. lots of 80s. More than four. I mean, Eight very three, no? powerful player, isn't it? Impressive. Mm. But of course Jimmy's won 12 frames, so mm. All power to him as well. He did well. Quick word about Nigel Bond. Totally different characters. Crept through yes, almost unnoticed. Yes, excellent. Yes. Um, he's going out there as the underdog. Nothing um, to lose. Nothing which you've never had to do, of course. You were always the star. I thought I was always the underdog. <laughs> I think that's how I got away with it, probably. <laughs> yes, well, Nigel will play his best. He'll go out there, as you say. Yeah. He's got nothing to lose. Yeah. And he'll be confident. And he, he mustn't think just that uh, he wants to do well. Mm. He must think you must win. Mm. That's what okay. it's all about. Ray, um, many people have said there's a lot of gamesmanship in snooker, and you particularly used to go out there, shake the go on, do it, shake the old shoulders. Yeah, well, the old, the old, the old, that was Gamesmanship. A lot of John. John John's better doing that. that no, no. <laughs> they said a lot of people go said on, you were. <laughs> But many people were two frames down before they started against you because you commanded the stage. Um, gamesmanship? Did you employ it? No, it's just a matter of presence, isn't it, really? Mm. You don't try to do anything. You, you're only being what you are. I mean, you, you're serious about what you do. You love playing the game. And whenever I've made these gestures or gesticulations or whatever you call them, it's mostly to get tension out of yourself, really, not to off-put your opponent. Because it's important that you, you must relax. Mm. And there's only one way of relaxing, that's to, to get the steam outside of you. <laughs> so Whether you communicate to the audience or, or what. Yeah. Your greatest hour? <coughs> My greatest mm. hour? Well, winning the first one, I would mm. say. Yes. Mm. They're all nice. Mm. I mean, I heard uh, Stephen say that he, he, when he came back, uh, he, he felt better, and that's why he does better here. Yeah, because once you're at the Crucible, there's something about the place that and it's the world championship really and they all go together mm. and everybody wants to be the world champion mm. that's the game John you've had some moments yeah not like Ray I mean I was going to ask Ray how would you handle Stephen <laughs> I'm glad I didn't, know I didn't have to <laughs> well, you used to handle Higgins didn't you for example yeah. Yeah. people just say you used to leave Higgins one or two tempters to go up yes. yeah. I don't think you could do that with Stephen really could you well, you'd have to put him under a lot of pressure first before you did it. But you'd have to pick game, and choose. Your safety game, I remember uh, seeing a session mm. uh, in Middlesbrough Town Hall. You played the finest yeah. session of snooker I've ever seen in the World Championship before it came out. I remember that. Yeah. I remember because I had the best seat in the house I was playing. You <laughs> <laughs> well, that was unusual <coughs> with that one. You so beat me 15 2 and you never missed the ball. I missed one pot in the week. Really? Yeah. Yeah. One that you go for, or should yeah. pot. Because all of us remember. But the secret was was putting the white on the ball cushion, wasn't it? Really? You used to wear your well, tip out playing Ray. <laughs> <laughs> you could only hit the top half of the ball. <laughs> if you're going to play a safety shot, we'll make it a good one. I think Nigel's going to have to do some of that today, don't you? Yes. Yeah, you, you must get in and score heavy. 
And then and when then he doesn't, put it on the ball. And cushion. if he gets out of position, then don't try anything fancy. I wanted to ask you Don't a try a silly double. Yeah, I wanted to ask you a question. Remember we played Bill Werbenick. And in the mor you didn't like playing in the morning. <laughs> That's what he thought. <laughs> and Bill, 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 was play, Bill, was, this is it. Bill was playing as, be as well as he could. Ray was struggling in the morning after the interval. And I said to Bill, he said, uh, I see you don't like playing in the morning either, Bill. <laughs> I'm sure there's no truth in this story, but I think I remember it when you were playing Eddie Charlton here. And uh, Eddie laid a good snooker and you said, good shot, Eddie. And you actually applauded. Got out of the snooker and said, not good enough, though. <laughs> <laughs> Try to make him hard if you can. <laughs> well, I mean, Dennis, of course, um, for you, everybody's memory, 1985. Um, it's one of the greatest moments. Yeah, it's, it's hard to, even yet, I, I, I go around the country and people come up and talk about that black and how did you feel when you potted the black and... Uh, I don't know, it's just one of those things. I was so fortunate to have been involved in the final like that and... Uh, it, it's one of those that everybody's going to remember for as long as the game's played, oh, I think. Well, it's you difficult to explain, isn't it? The you feeling that you have, yeah. and the adrenaline you that carry on through and just, you. You carry on, I've got to remind him about something, because we're going to see very shortly the final of the Embassy Championship of the World, Stephen Hendry against Nigel Bond. As the players come out, the first ball played, etc., all in grandstand, which is starting up in a few moments.